I'm Aiden. And I'm Chris. And this is the day in the life of the fire chief at Taffo Fire and Rescue. guys so station 56 has a call so we're gonna head over to station 44 say hello to some of the members and uh, talk to the officers so we'll see you there and we're at station 44 now with we'll park our car up and as you can see we have a big civilian presence here and we don't we don't just dis discourage that here at Taft Hill, but hopefully they're not interacting with uh, the firefighters too much because obviously we have a job to do so let's uh let's go meet and I hate to cut you off real quick, but I would like to uh, apologize about any lag that you see. There is almost 40-something, yeah, there is 40-something people in the server right now. So it's a little, a little choppy. So if, if there's any lag, I can promise you that it's not on our, or that it's not on my exactly. end. Or that, sorry, that it's not on your end, sorry. But it's purely it just 40-something people in the server right now, so. Ooh, got a call. Truck to respond. Need to get we have a, they actually have a fire call right now. Yeah, I need to get in the radio. Hold on. There we go. Attention, Tafo Fire. Attention, Tafo Fire. Oh, it's here. What's Station going on? 56. Yeah, what's going on? Hold on? Truck 57. Respond for manpower oh, the other. for electrical problem at Chief Tim's. Priority 1. Chief Tim's. Oh, other Tim's. All right. So and it's the other over. station as well. So we're That's good. right. So we'll Deputy need... dispatch. Start me at working 1075. Here. Oh, we got, oh. We got a working fire. Tim, we're, we're going to be... Re Responding to that cost. So uh, let's head up free. to ladder 44. I'm gonna jump out of the radio. Do, 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 do. Alrighty. I'm right here, sir. Where you at, boy? There you are. Alright, everyone be clear on your best behavior. Alrighty. Another call. Never a dull moment. Engine here, 1 respond. I'm out of the radio, oh, so you don't. guys won't won't be be able to to hear it. It's pretty loud, but someone's getting a call right now. Uh, yes, sir. Are we ready to? Are we going? Yeah, we're rocking and rolling. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm here with I'm here with Deputy Chief Justin, the admin command. He is running officer on the ladder 44. We got ourselves a crowd of firefighters gathering here. But so, Justin, what's it like being an officer on ladder 44? Uh, it just brings me back to the days when I was a lieutenant. Uh, it's great being back on the truck and getting some jobs. That's right. That's I right. trust my crew well enough to be on a ladder truck, so. Fantastic. And since our last video, we gained seven, almost 600 members, and we're getting 45 people shifts. What do you think about that for the people at home? Uh, I think it's awesome. I'm glad people are showing interest in Taffville, and I'm glad we're back out here doing it. And our uh, too. our last PIO vlog gained, I think it's now at twelve thousand views, if I read it correctly, a minute ago in like six days. So that's right, growing so strong. Richard, if you don't mind me talking to Mr. Richard, so Richard, can you tell the people at home who you are and what you do? Yeah, my name is Richard. I'm the chauffeur here at Station Forty Four for Ladder Forty Four today, and my job is basically doing the aerial and stuff. Fantastic. So you like Taffville? Of course, Tavo is a uh, really good server, so. Fantastic. Oh, watch out. I think they got to go somewhere. Watch out. Yeah, they got Let's start moving. Engine got a wee woo. And. All right, so everyone at home, you can see We got see some civilians blocking responding. the traffic, but. That's right. You guys can see Engine 44 is responding. Citizens, you guys should off, uh... off a wide turn with some civilians over there. That's right. Someone should probably tell oh. them to get out of get out of the street. So Justin, what is the uh I thank God you're clipping more. So I'm here with firefighter Rex. So Rex, what is your job here at Ladder Forty Four? So on Ladder Forty Four I usually get the nozzle and spread down the fire. So. Fantastic. How long have you been part of TAFO? I've been part of TAFO for at least like three months now. Fantastic. And do you enjoy it? Enjoy it? Yeah. It's very fun. That's great to hear. Fantastic. And if you can tell anyone that wants to join at home, what would you tell them about Taffville? Um, it's entertaining. 
fantastic. Love oh, to be safe out there, brother. I love to hear. I know that they have a working structure fire, so hopefully uh, you guys get toned out to that. But see, be safe out there, guys. All right. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. All right. Let's go. Thank Come you. Ask a doodle. All right. So we're heading on down to Station 56 right now to meet someone with their crew and see what they're up to. And if you guys watched the PIO first PIO vlog, you guys know exactly uh, what this station holds. It holds the Midmount Tower, as you guys can see, it's been updated since that video, and it holds a engine company. We're going to be doing truck checks or washing the truck, so uh, let's park her up and we'll meet you guys inside. So I'm here with uh, the Sean, the officer of Ladder 56. So, Sean, you're a district chief here in Taftville. Can you tell me what it's like to be part of uh, TVFR? Well, to be part of TVFR, it's, it's, it's everything, you know? We have the most strongest community. We interact with, we interact with our firefighters. We do hands-on trainings. Like, it's nothing else, like, no other station or district you can compare us to, you know? Like, we're the best of the best. We got new recruits coming in every single day. And honestly, it's just, you know, like a brotherhood and a family, you know? Fantastic. Well, hopefully we'll see what we got going on for you guys. So, you know, what can you tell for people that that are joining Taffa? Like, what can you tell them at home? I mean, if Engine from four home, respond. just know that you're going to suspect one a lot of hard work. You're going to be dedicating hours, but trust me, at the end of the day, it's fun, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you out, you know? Thank you so much. And you know, what, what, can you, what can you say as a little piece of advice for those incoming members coming in the TAF field as a white shirt yourself? So my, my, I'm, what I'm going to tell them is once you get in, everything's going to be okay don't stress about anything don't overthink anything we're here especially us in the white shirts we're here to help we're here to assist you through the struggles just know that when you come through you're not the only one that's feeling the way you are everybody is going to go through it you know and so thank yeah so that's much. pretty much thank you so much all right and cut all right thank you I'm here with Firefighter Marvin. He's been with the agency for a while now. So, Marvin, can you tell us your job on Ladder 56? Uh, my job in Ladder 56 is being a crew. And mostly, I handle the ladders on line when the officer needs. And I'm in sniper too. Fantastic. I, and, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I sometimes drive the truck when needed. If there's no driver, that is all. Fantastic. Do you, so do you like Taffel Fire and Rescue? Yeah, I really like it and it's been and it's an honor to serve here in Taffel. Well it's an honor to have you with us. And okay. the viewers at home, what can they expect when they join Taffel? Uh when you join Taffville, it's a great experience to have and I assure you you will enjoy your uh, journey here in Taffel once you join. And and you will enjoy. So. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you for being committed to excellence every single day you come on shift with us. I appreciate it. Here, I started rolling. Above Battalion 5 and a uh, couple engines on Z. 10 4 Chief 1 and Rod safety. Alright, boys and girls, so we're heading out to a garage fire right now in Dunn Lane. Uh, the incident commander has Battalion 5 on scene and some other chiefs, but we're going to go out there and help them the way we can. Sorry about the sirens, it's pretty loud. I'm sorry about the uh, lag right. as well. There's fire in the yeah, so as again, well. It's, we're having a 40-some person shift. So. And plus there's fire and trucks at the location we're going exactly. to. So. We've okay. won on scene a rating assignment. So we'll see you guys on the fire ground. All right, guys. So I'm here at the garage fire right now. As you can see, if we take a walk this way, we are with engine 57 as a mutual aid in this box. We have engine 45 or 44, engine 45 as probably the first do. And we have... The Battalion 5, Deputy 1, and ourselves on scene. Battalion 5, the PIO chief, currently has uh, scene command. Oh, and if you look behind us, there is Ladder 45, or 44, excuse me. Uh, ladder 44 is about to be arriving on scene. And uh, if you guys come over here, we can go see some operations in, uh, in Sandpoint. As you guys can see, sorry, we you guys can see... We got the guys making an entry into the uh, into the garage with the civilian watching, and right behind us is Deputy Chief John. He is the uh, he's the Deputy Chief of Fire uh, Fire Ground Operations here, and there is the Battalion Chief wearing his old custom when he was a captain. He's taking he's actually the scene commander right now, and there is his ride along. 
So as you guys can see here at Taffville, we have a quick response to these kind of these kind of calls. Firefighters are got their attack lines, are probably waiting for orders from command to make interior. And uh yeah, as you guys can see they're making interior. Uh today we had our first we had Academy Class Five graduates, so you guys can see all the yellow domes that are overwhelmingly here except for over the over the orange and black domes, but hey, what can you do? These guys are dedicated to the department just as much as anybody else, and it's glad to have them here. So if we take a look around, you guys can see this guy right here. He's a fire candidate. He does uh, he does some exterior stuff. Here's a lieutenant right there in his blue helmet. And uh, yeah, and here's another here's another candidate. So yeah, it looks like they probably got the fire coming knocked. All right. So yeah, this is what a call looks like here on Taffa Fire and Rescue. As you guys can see, they make quick interior and make quick work of the job. So we'll see you in the next one. So here at Tampa Fire Rescue, we just made the biggest change in our history. We completely whitelisted our agency and have permanent station and rig assignments for all of our firefighters. This went, in, uh, this went actually into effect today as of 522, and our firefighters now have complete assignments to apparatus and station. So what that does is it allows us as such a big community to build it so that you know exactly where you're going when you come to shift no more shift assignments we did out with the old and now we're going to the new it also allows us to build have the new members you guys that are coming as our future members to build a good camaraderie with your teammates right at Taffville, we're committed to that kind of excellence where you feel welcome when you come to Taffville, every sh single shift you are part of the team and we want you to feel like that we want you to come to the academy graduate go to your truck first day stress brand new orange lid and it's the first day of many shifts ahead and it's stressful and you come and you're thrown into the action at the academy and you learn to work with those gentlemen and ladies that are on your truck with you that's what we want here at Tefo Fire Rescue that's what we want every member every member all 640 of them to feel we want the future and the present to feel what the past members didn't get to and that's what we want here. So this new system is allowing us to expand our, our broad of friendship, camaraderie, and good team building. And it's making it so the entire department is able to do that. And that's what we want, right? We're committed to excellence at Taffo Fire and Rescue. And people that are watching our videos, I hope and hope that you guys come and give us a chance. Because we are committed to excellence. We are the community that, the, that wants you and wants just you. We want you. We want your expertise. We want your input. We want your suggestions. I tell everybody, this is not a dictatorship. There's a chief of department. There's a chief of uniform personnel. There's a chief of admin. There's deputy chiefs, assistant chiefs. Every single person has a rank, and every single person has a job, and that's what we want from you guys. That's what we want you guys to come and enjoy the chain of command. Enjoy like you're working in a real-life fire department. So we're very happy to announce that here at Taffo Fire and Rescue. And honestly, I really hope to see every single one of you that watch this video come down and, and check us out because we really would love to have you guys join up. Uh, it's it's not a, it's an it's an an immense pleasure to be the chief of this department to have found this when I was 15 years old and to have, to watch it build I'm sorry 16 years old and watch it build all the way to this point and just become this icon in the fire community it's been an absolute pleasure and I hope to see you guys out there another point of topic I'd like to talk about with you guys when I have you guys here is our academy. If you guys are thinking that, oh, I don't know this about this, or, you know, you might know everything about firefighting, then I can, I actually challenge you to come to our, to come to our academy. We teach real EMS, we teach real firefighting tactics from all across the country, north, south, west, and east firefighting tactics, all into one custom-built training program that allows firefighters to have a good grasp on defensive and offensive fire strategies, and work efficiently, like, some of the best departments in, in Roblox history have. We give our firefighters an opportunity to work efficiently, to work on the job nicely, to build friendships, and to know the job, to know what's going to happen, and not to be shocked and to be and to look dumb on incident scenes. That is what we give our firefighters a chance. So if you guys want to come down and check out the academy, apply. I can guarantee you, a lot of you guys will get in, and you'll enjoy every second. And as we talk to more members during this video, I encourage you guys to listen and, and, and really consider it because. All of these gentlemen that you were going to be talking to, and maybe some ladies, they have worked their butts off to get to where they are, and they love every second of it. So, yeah, I'll see when we get to Station 56. Alright guys, so we're here at the incident right now. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot show you guys up close. We have an impaled suspect, uh, subject that fell off of a roof. 
We cannot get up close to the call on this one. I do apologize, but obviously, you know, impaled sus uh, subjects are not very good. So we'll do a quick walk around of the apparatus, show you who's on scene, and hopefully get you something nice for you guys. So we'll see you on the walk around. All right. Oh. right here is this is Assistant Chief One. Of, uh, this is Brad. And he's the Assistant Chief of Fireground Operations. And just rolling in, I believe it's Battalion 5. And you can see Engine 56, the guys that we just were interviewing right behind us. And you can see they're about to get to work. So uh, I guess we can follow them since we were just with them. A full crew of probationaries. And one of their first calls is the Man Impaled. As you can see, we're going to follow them over here. We'll get our helmet on so we're not going to get smacked or anything. That would not be fun. So as you can see on scene is Engine 45 and Engine 44 out of Station 44. These are the first two in this box that respond as well as ladder 44 and it looks like the person that's impaled is on the other side so we can go to the triage and take a look right here is yeah here's battalion 5 and it looks to be deputy 1 and chief 2 is actually arriving right now he's the rescue coordinator coming on over here you can see is penguin he is the assistant chief of EMS and here's the triage center for the personnel on scene of the uh, of the call right now so as you can see then here's the triage center and it looks like crews are working pretty diligently right now to un unhook the person from the uh, situation. I guess we can take a quick walk as long as there's no one being shown uh, impaled. We can take a quick walk back here and show you some of the operations quick. Uh, we'll be pretty careful not to, not to see anything. Uh, so as you guys can see, uh, try not to show you guys much, but as you guys can see, we have a few candidates back here. Um, you can see the firefighters up there, the yellow brims, working pretty hard to get that person unstuck with some uh, with some assistance from other firefighters on scene that are trained in this kind yeah, of I'm ordeal. as far over as I can go without showing you guys someone going through a fence so if I go any further exactly. you can kind of see his head there but yeah exactly we don't want to show that to y'all but anyway uh, on a good note this is the industrial area uh, this is where some of the factories produce Pepnobismol and some other medicine and medications uh, this this factory unfortunately got shut down due to uh, health hazards so we'll go take a look at engine 56 yeah about, a, about a two weeks ago there was a really big hazmat fire inside there so yes there was and you guys can see Engine 56 is probably on the RIT team waiting for assignment. And uh, yeah, these gentlemen right here, they, they're every day, they risk their lives, and they come out here and they, they are an active part of our community to help better everything you see here. And it's an absolute honor to have them in our in our agency. And you guys can see they're just kind of waiting around, and obviously have someone in, getting impaled is one of the worst things that can happen on any scene of an incident. So hopefully these firefighters can get uh, the help that they need obviously after such a call like this and we, we try to provide as much assistance to our firefighters as, as possible so anyways we go back around to show you guys just a quick thing of uh, ladder 44 so this truck I know we haven't had much time to really look around it quick but this is our actually one of this is the newest aerial to the fleet the rear mount stick it's a Seagrave and as you can see it is absolutely stunning and these crews that work on here are some of the most advanced as you can see a yellow brim here one of the most some of the most advanced crews and there's Rex we've seen them earlier one of some of the most advanced crews in our agency work on this on these apparatus here. Uh, looking over to Battalion Five, we'll see uh, what's going on. And uh, actually, maybe we can get we can probably get uh, plant in here. Cut the video. <laughs> Cut All right, so we're heading over here to Station Fifty Six again to meet with Engine Fifty Six and talk to some of their crew today. Uh, so we'll see you inside. What's up, everybody? I'm here with Lieutenant Bobos. He's the current officer of Engine Fifty Six. So Bob, what? What do you do as the officer of Engine 56? So basically, as the officer, I command the crews on what to do on the fire ground when we get a call. Fantastic. So how long have you been with TAFO? I've been with TAFO for about a month right now to the date. Fantastic. And I believe you were an original TAFO about a year ago, right? Yeah, about. That's why. That's why I thought. So, you know, what is your favorite part about TAFO? Like, what, what is TAFO to you? My favorite part is us having shifts all day with a bunch of people and having a really fun community to laugh and joke with all the other firefighters. Fantastic. And if you could tell anyone at home what to expect when they join TAFO, what would that be? I would expect very professional firefighters and very professional admins and chiefs. Fantastic. So, you know, to the people at home, you know, be prepared to be professional, be prepared to have a good chain of command and meet some good people, right? All right. All right, guys, we're back at Station 56. Engine 56 just got a call, so I wonder where they're going. And looks like Chief 2 is responding as well. Deputy, or Chief of, uh, Chief of Uniform Personnel, Zach, is right behind us here. 
and I believe that they're going on to a call, but I we're going to go self-attach and see what's going on, so we'll see you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on scene of a fully working structure fire right now. So we're going to go ahead and move our vehicle out of the way and get the command posts going and hopefully help them out where they need us. So as you guys can see, we're pre-arrival engine 56. Whoa, engine 56 probably just took the other way around, so we'll assist deputy one with getting the command post set up and uh, help them out whenever we can. So as you guys can see, We'll, uh, we'll give John his command post here so we can... This is Deputy Chief John. He's the Chief of uh, Fire Ground Operations. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that today. Uh, but John is John's one of our really, really well-known and liked chiefs. So, as you guys can see, the command post is now officially set up, and the incident commanders are going to do their magic. And you can see John, obviously, the Deputy Chief, so he has the incident command, and Battalion 5 is probably arriving on scene any minute now. And there's Battalion 5, Speak of the Devil. So obviously, these these Battalion 5 and Deputy 1 will work together and uh, get the call situated. So if you, uh, my cameraman wants to follow me, we'll head around the truck to truck. Uh, we'll put our helmet on for this one, because obviously you don't want to get smacked by anything. Oh, watch out for Battalion 5. He's here. So as you guys can see, we got a... Oh, we got a Prince a, a nice fresh blue helmet working on the pumps with his engineer, I suppose. He's probably getting caught the ropes of engineering. As you guys can see, they're making the interior search now. Uh, and you guys can see we got a lot of yellow helmets on scene. A lot of good work in senior firefighters on scene right now, making a difference. And as you guys can see, there's uh, there's Ladder 56 getting their aerial up, the crew we spoke to earlier. If you guys want to come around, you guys can see they're waiting for their assignment, Engine 45, first two on this, or it seems like Engine 44 is first two on this call. Coming around, we'll take a quick walk around the structure. And you can see there's Deputy 1 doing the 360. Just want to take a look see so you guys can see the firefighters on the inside of the pizza oven taking a three doing a primary and take knocking out the fire and there is the ladder truck getting themselves placed up on the aerial coming around we'll take a look at all the apparatus on scene and as you guys can imagine we still have two or three apparatus in service right now I'm able to protect the fire district uh, actually we have one or two we have a quint in service which is an engine and a ladder in one and you guys can see we have this we have engine 56 ready for uh, Engine 40 or Engine 56 ready to uh, get their assignment. And there's there's one of our senior firefighters. You can see a lot of the senior guys here getting ready to go in and fight the fire. And here's here's operator T engineer Tyus doing his duties. You guys can come on over here and take a look. See, here's here is Ladder 56, and they're making a making a contact on the roof right now. So it makes me a proud chief to see all this happening simultaneously, all in their own voice channels, all under the command of their their own officer taking command from the scene command. It's an it's an it's an amazing thing to see actually, especially on these type of calls. It's absolutely amazing. And here's Battalion Five. So we'll, we'll actually go talk to him real quick, see what he's doing. All right, well I'm here with Battalion Five. Josh, he is the PIO Battalion Chief. He's in charge. He's under the admin division. Is in charge of all the uh, PIO operations, giving ride-alongs, and being one of the faces for the department. So Josh, are you think are you part of the scene commanders here or no? Yes, I am. So, uh, what's going on? And can you tell us some of the assignments if you know any? Uh, it's all over the place at this point. I y'all have done came in here and messed me up at this point, but I will figure out that in a minute. Fantastic. Well, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry to cut you off. And me and Command Post wanted to see what you're doing and say hi to you and say you're doing this fine day. Yeah. yeah. That's so, we'll let you get back to your job. Thanks for taking a moment to talk to us. All right. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this day in the life of a fire chief. Hope you enjoyed me taking you around for the last half an hour and showing you what it's like to be in my shoes. Hope you guys enjoyed meeting some of the members and hearing their stories, and I hope to see you guys in the city of Taffville Fire and Rescue. It would be an absolute honor. Thank you, and have a blessed day. Have a good one.